Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm sharing a card design with you using the August 2019 Large Die of the Month Club from Spellbinders. This is a really cool die kit, especially for making back to school cards. It allows you to create a clipboard, scissors, a pen and pencil, and a paper clip. I started by taking the largest of all of the dies. Now this particular die does not cut along the top edge. It only makes cuts on the other three edges. There are a couple of different ways that you can use this die because it does not cut along that one edge. The way that I decided to use it was to make a card base. So I actually took one of my already pre-made card bases and this base is made out of Nina Desert Storm cardstock and I used the die on that so that it didn't cut along that one edge. Next I took the second largest die from the set and I cut this piece of patterned paper which looks a lot like lined paper. This is from the Really Rainbow Paper Pack from Lawn Fawn. For the actual clip part of my clipboard, I really wanted it to look like metal, so I found this metallic gold paper which is from Tonic and I cut both pieces out of that. For the first part of my sentiment, I actually pulled out the small die of the month club kit for August from Spellbinders, and it has this die which has a sentiment which says you roll, and I cut that out of some Basil Licorice Twist cardstock. Now I did do a lot more die cutting after this point, but I figured that you wouldn't want to watch me just die cutting for half of this video, so I'm just going to tell you all of the pieces that I cut. I cut enough pieces in order to create two pencils, and then I also cut a paper clip. Here you can see that I'm gluing together all of the pieces to create the first pencil. Now, while I'm creating this, you'll see that I cut the metal piece out of some gray cardstock, but later when you see it, it will be gold. I wanted it to match the clipboard, so I ended up recutting it out of that gold cardstock. In order to create the graphite part of the pencil, I just grabbed a Copic marker and I very quickly colored in the tip. I took the paper clip that I made, and as you can see, I cut that paper clip out of that same gold cardstock, and I adhered it onto the pattern paper using my ATG gun. I then glued that entire panel onto the clipboard card base, leaving some space along the top for the actual clip. To start putting that clip together, I first took the smaller of the two pieces, and I adhered it along the top edge of that paper using some liquid adhesive. I then took the larger of the two pieces and I added a line of foam tape just along the middle and I added some liquid adhesive to the bottom and then I adhered that right on top of that smaller piece so that those circles line up. This gives it that little bit of dimension that makes it look more realistic. I glued down the first of my two pencils along the side of the clipboard. I wanted to wait until I added my sentiment before I added the second pencil. Using the lines on my patterned paper as a guide, I very carefully lined up each of those letters for my sentiment, and then I glued all of them down using my Gina K Designs Connect glue. For the second half of my sentiment, I pulled out the amazing stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and I stamped a smaller sentiment right underneath the first using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I could have left my card like it was at this point and it would have been really good, but I thought that it would look even better if I put that clipboard onto a base of cardstock that was a dark color. I just thought that it would make that clipboard stand out really well. So I took this A2 size piece of Gina K Designs in the navy cardstock and I just adhered a strip of patterned paper along the bottom edge of it and then I glued that entire card base that I created on top of that panel. I went over each of the die cut letters using this glaze from Fun Stamper's Journey. Now that I was happy with the sentiment, I took out the other pencil that I created and I glued it right on top of the first pencil and I have it kind of tilted so that it fills up that space next to the sentiment. For the finishing touches on this card, the first thing that I did is I took out these tiny hearts embellishments from Doodle Bugs and I'm placing a row of those underneath the sentiment and just like with the rest of the card, I decided to go with rainbow colors here. 
I've said this before and I'll say it again. I do not recommend picking up these tiny embellishments with an X-Acto knife. I usually do, but I guess I just like to live really dangerously. But seriously, there are a lot of other ways that you could pick these up and they're much safer. The last thing that I did to finish up this card is I went over both of the pencil barrels using a Spectrum Noir clear glitter pen and then this card is all done and here's a closer look at the finished design. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed this card design featuring that large die of the month club from Spellbinders. All of the supplies that I used today can be found in the description down below. And don't forget that anytime you use one of those links, you're helping to support this channel at no extra cost to you. If you enjoyed watching today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every single week, and I'm going to be back with another one really soon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.